if you find that, you, that you're having a little bit of trouble getting your subjects to loosen up, make them do a walk off. Get them to do a walk off, I promise you. If you make them do a walk off, it'll work. Let me demonstrate that to you. Okay, um, come here, Tess. Okay, Tess, I want you to start right there for me. Okay, back up, yeah, there you go. <laughs> and we have to get you out of your shell right there. Okay, now Tess, you're gonna walk towards me, but first of all, stop right there for just a second. I want you just to stand flat-footed on the floor. Now notice how the energy from hers flows from the top of her head to the bottom of her feet right there. Okay, now, just bend one knee for me. Beautiful, now look at how much more thin that made her look. Now, take your legs and just cross them. See how nice that looks for her? You can even point your toe. See how your toe, point your toe right there? Love it, very, very nice. So already, she's facing the camera, but we were able to give her a more slender silhouette. Okay, now what I want you to do is we're gonna walk it out. So I want you to walk towards me. This, first of all, hang on before you get crazy, girl. <laughs> I can tell you are just ready to roll, huh? Yeah, she's like, oh yeah, this is my moment. I'm gonna be a famous actress and stuff then. <laughs> just walk straight with your feet side by side, okay? Ready, one, two, three, and just, 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 okay. Now, go back and do it again. This time, I'm gonna have you walk it off and let's have a little attitude and I want you to, to bring your leg and cross one in front of the other like they do in a runway, okay? Okay, ready? One, two, three, go. Oh, love, darling, oh, yeah. <laughs> that was the worst job I ever saw. Get back and do it again. Okay, again, they never do it right the first time, but it's about this. This, see, now she's got a real smile on her face. Yeah. You see, when you walk, when they walk it out and they start laughing, that moment after they stop laughing, bam. That's the magic moment. Okay, so now, all right, cutie, let's do it. Okay, let's go on it on. All right, one, two, three, go. Oh, mm -hmm, uh -huh, love it. Oh, yes, love it, dog. Uh-huh. And here's the other thing, too. By the way, watch this. Um, okay, I need to have, like, let me have the four of you right here come up, stand next to her. Pay attention to what happens in their faces. Back up a little bit, okay. Okay, very randomly. Okay, now, what I want you guys to do on a count of three is I want you to bust out laughing for no reason whatsoever, okay? Okay, first time I want you to do it without actually saying, without really like having any voice, okay? One, two, three, go. Okay. Okay, now I need you to, I want you to pay attention to that, and now I want you to do it again, but this time I want to hear it like back to that wall right there. Okay, ready? Everybody, yeah. I'm like going, okay, Tess, you best be laughing. What's going on here? Okay, yeah, you're standing there. The people behind you are laughing like crazy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you ready? Okay, so on a count of three, I mean, I want to feel it from here. Okay, ready, guys? One, two, three, go. <laughs> okay, now, but did you notice? Bam, now's the moment. Did you see how that happened? Thank you, kids, very much. So if I have somebody who's getting a little bit, you know, they're getting a bit static or I'm kind of like, I'm, I'm losing my mojo, I'm kind of losing my energy, I will, I will make them do a walk-off and say, okay, we're going to stop right now. You're going to do a walk-off for me. Right now, we're going to do a walk-off. And I'll do it for them first. I'll get out there and I just start doing my little walk-off. And I go, okay, you ready? Okay, and I'll just go do my little walk-off. And they bust out laughing because I'm doing it too. But you know what? It's all good. You know, so what? We make ourselves look foolish. I mean, it's like, oh, my God. It won't be the last time I've ever made a fool of myself. I mean, I just stand in line behind me because I own the market on being foolish. Okay, so any other questions before we move on? That okay. was great. Yes. That was absolutely fantastic. <laughs> Good. I'm glad you yeah. found that um, uh -huh. Just a quick technical question. Uh, what shutter speed do you like to use uh, during the walk-off? Oh, great question. Okay, shutter speed, I want it to be fast enough to capture the action. So maybe, you know, 125, a 60th of a second. Um, depending, sometimes I, okay, here's the cool thing. Sometimes you can do a walk off, and I want you to play with this. It's not an exact science, but it works good. I like, I like doing this. Okay, put your flash on your camera, use your speed light on your camera. Put your camera on the B for bulb mode, B for bulb, because what happens is as long as you keep your finger on the trigger, uh, your shutter will stay open. And I want you to have somebody to do a walk off, but don't let them look at you. Like if you did a walk off in bulb mode, you need them to be walking towards you with their face like this. Because what's gonna happen is it's gonna give you this really cool blurry picture, but if you're using a speed light, it kind of stops the action a bit. So it's a real fun technique. Um, I use it a lot on the dance floor. When people are dancing, I'll put my camera on the B for bulb mode, and then I will use the videographer's light. And I'll just go, I go one Mississippi, two Mississippi, click, like this. And it, what it does is it kind of stops the action, but you get this beautiful, soupy kind of warm, fuzzy experience. It's really, really fun to do. So pl play with that and try that. Any other questions before we move on? Bambi. Yes. You make being technically correct cool. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Well, I, I, I don't think anybody's ever called me technically correct. That's, that's kind of like being politically correct. Mm, I don't know that I'm either, but, but I mean, I'm happy. When, when, when they ask, you you know the answer, but you're giving us the, the fluid. The, you're teaching us to be fluid 
but you, you've already got your technical stuff down. Yeah. And that's Thank you very great. much, Levi. That's a very high compliment. I very much appreciate that because I don't consider, I'm not a techie. I'm not one of those, I, as I said, you, I mean, I told you I was the bottom of the top of the bottom of my class. I mean, if you saw any of my teachers from high school, they'd go, oh, you are so joking. <laughs> that woman was never going to be anybody. I literally was going to be some drug addict down on Fifth Avenue, you know, <laughs> doing something crazy. But I, I didn't. and and. Um, but, and I'm very grateful for, for the fact that my mother would have killed me otherwise, so if I'd done anything crazy. But the, but the point is, is that I, that's, I guess, my way of teaching, is that I want to take the fear out of it. Because we really, that's what it boils down to, is we get afraid. Uh, believe me, I have been so afraid in my beginning. When my boss told me, my first boss, and he said, you know, shoot everything at F8 at a 60th of a second. The first time I went down and pushed the envelope and shot at a 15th of a second, I was like, oh my God, the earth is going to swallow me up. Something horrible is going to happen and my camera's going to explode or something like that. And, and I can't tell you, it made me feel so powerful afterwards because I was like, oh baby, you are so bad. You shot at a 15th of a second. Yeah, you go, honey. You are going to do it. <laughs> and it was just like, okay, get over yourself, chick. It's all right. But that first time that you push the envelope is really empowering to you. And, and I mean, we all have crazy things in our lives that, you know, that we end up you know, going postal over or whatever, but too many times I found that we as photographers, and I'm one of them, that we'd get so hung up on, on, on you know, doing it only one way, and this is the way I know how to do it, and I got to do it this way because this is perfect. And sometimes what we do, we fool ourselves because we're afraid to do anything different into thinking, well, you know, if it ain't broke, I'm not fixing it. I think that's the dumbest statement that ever's been brought. I hate that statement. When people say, oh, well, if it ain't broke, I'm not fixing it. I'm just thinking, well, honey, it may not be broke, but maybe it's just downright boring, you know? So, you know, we have to be willing to push the envelope a little bit and not, you know, and, and not be afraid. The worst thing that can happen is that you take a bad picture. Oh, hello. You know, I own that one too. So, you know, it's, and you all probably saw me take at least one or five or 25 yesterday that were not too good.